hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today i have unbagging for you all and it's from the lovely people over at fg normal i will pop a link to their website down below so in here rather than getting all my diamond painting kits from them i thought i'd get um something else. a bit different um i have done this sort of kit before on my channel but i thought i would have a look at their cross stitch kits so i've got three cross stitch kits and one off the canvas diamond painting kit and um, these are very kindly being gifted to me from by fg normal i will pop links to all of the products in the description box down below as well so i hope you really enjoy this um i asked my mum to make the selections for the cross stitch kits this time she's been really enjoying cross stitching and so I thought it'd be quite nice just to give her something to be able to do as well. She still stopped smoking and that's like nine weeks now. And as I've mentioned in one of my other videos, cross stitch has really helped her um, kick the habit by giving her something to do with her hands. So let's have a look at these. So these are my mum's selection and they're really cute actually. So the first one we've got, they're all Joy Sunday kits. Um, is this one It's called Peter Rabbit Family. And as you can see, there's Peter Rabbit. And then um, really, really cute. So this is 21 by 22 centimeters. It's 14 count. I'm not sure if it's pre-printed or counted cross stitch. Let's have a little look. Um, on these, the brilliant. So they come in their own little bags. You've got everything that you need to be able to do your, um, to complete the project. And yeah, it's got really, really clear instructions. It tells you all about um, selecting your threads, using the charts. Um, the different types of stitches that you might need to know about and how to do them so let's get this one out of here so we have the cover sheets here i love these kits they're so good so you've got the cover sheet so you can see what it's going to look like once you've completed your project so that's the cover sheet and then inside we have a printed chart so it's double-sided so you've got this here so you can keep this and use it forever maybe get a little folder and keep everything in there and on the back so it's got the second part of the image it's got the, the symbol codes along with the dmc numbers and it tells you the back stitches are here these are all full stitches again a little reminder of what it's going to look like a little thumbnail um yeah so it's cute and it's not too big it's nice and little it is this is it here. So this is a pre-printed one. So it looks a bit strange like this, but don't worry. Um, the finished design will look like that. It's just to help you. Um, makes it easier to follow. You're not having to count. You can just think, oh yeah, we're going to do all these like blue pieces here. And you'll have a look and see what the blue is. Number 17. And it's got that there. And then you'll have a pick up your threads here. And you select number 17. Do you like that? Dead easy. Um, I have retired. <laughs> um, I, I did my last shift yesterday. I'm going to be like on annual leave, like technically for the next week and a half. And then my official retirement date will be May the 17th. But yeah, I have um, I've finished work. So I'm really, really excited. I'm going to have lots of time now to be able to create more content for my channel so i will start to be doing um how to's and things and so i'll go into a little bit more about how to sort of start off a cross stitch project and things if that's something you want to see let me know um i am going to be away for the next couple of weeks sunning myself <laughs> on the med <laughs> but um i will be back after that fully recharged and i'll be um hopefully on track with like a whole new schedule and a new way of being on my channel i'm so excited um back on track with this we've got all the threads that you need they're already organized you've got a couple of needles as well so you've got literally everything that you need let me tell you how much this kit is and um, if you did struggle with this chart and you weren't sure if you couldn't make it out very clearly you thought oh, i'm not sure i'm not sure all you do you just pick up this chart here and you can have a look and you could just look and think all oh, right yeah so that area there is b on here you'd have a look and say oh b is um is that b or eight b and, and you just go along they're all numbers and letters and b is number 12 which is three or two three ah you see there so i was saying it was a blue but actually, let me just stop this camera shaking. 
it's because I was looking through the lines that actually like little circles. So you see the blue circles, which is like there, number 12, which was the same as there, number 12, which was B. So yeah, just do double check nice and carefully. Make sure you're not like me making silly mistakes there. <laughs> so sorry. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that will be a lovely little project. You've got everything that you need. And um, the price for this kit was... Um, so it's a 14 count, 21 by 22 centimetres, 3 euros 37, so affordable, so it's 3 euros 47, 2 pounds 99, and that's 3 dollars 77, that's US dollars, so yeah, I'll give you the prices for everything in pounds, euros, and US dollars, so that is the first kit, my mum's going to be so excited to, to get started with that, I'm sure. I actually think she let my dad pick one of the kits. I think I'll tell you which one I think it was um, from memory. So there is the first one. Oh my goodness, let me get that in. I haven't done that very well. So it's been the coronation today of King Charles here in the UK. So I don't know if anyone has been watching that or not, or if you're interested, um, by all means, feel free to put your comments in the box down below. Okay, the next kit we've got, oh, oh my gosh, this is adorable. Look at that, it's like two little blue tits on their little nest, the little box, and there's some little baby birds inside there as well, but they've got bows on, <laughs> how adorable. Looks like a bit of cherry blossoming things around. Really, really cute. Let me tell you the price of this one first. So this is called, so it says on here, warm handmade, but yeah, it's a warm home. It's called, and the price of this so in euros, it's four euros, 49, which is three pounds and 99, five dollars and four cents. That's just like a today's conversion. Do check out the website as well. They do like diamond painting, cross stitch, like off the canvas kits. They do painting by numbers, which actually is something I want to try. I think I'm going to order some painting by numbers in the future and I think that'd be quite fun to do. But anyway, let's have a look at this. The size of this is 22 by 29. So again, it's not a huge project. But the Joy Sunday kits I've just found have been really, really good. Um, the same again, you've just got all your instructions on the back. So you've got your cover picture there showing you the finished design. Really cute. And you can see it's not like a printed image as in like a picture, it is actually a picture of the cross stitch. So you can just see what it's gonna look like. I think that's really nice. Um, nice looking chart, really easy to, to see, very, very clear. And then you've got your key here. So this one is full stitch, full stitch. We've got a French knot for this one and back stitch. So, um, yeah, you do need to be able to do those. But like, for example, French knot, it'll tell you on here, how do you do a French knot? And it is here. Yeah, so it shows you how you do that. And it just sometimes just takes a little bit of practice. So we've got the chart there. We have got the printed canvas here. So slightly bigger one than the last one. And by the way, um, these are printed on and don't think you're going to see all these grid lines and everything. It gives you instructions what you do once you've completed your cross stitch. You just soak them and all this ink just dissolves away. So it just leaves you with a, a blank canvas with your completed cross stitch on the top. And all of the, the printed ink areas will have disappeared like magic. <laughs> um, so here we have it here. Again, you've got the all the information here, the key. I am there, but it might be easier sometimes, I think, just to refer to the paper one, but it is here, so you've got it with you on the go. And then it's really easy. You can just say, oh, I'm just going to work on these turquoise areas. I'll do the yellows, the pinks, you know, and just complete all of it like that. The threads, look at the colours. Aren't they beautiful? Like really sort of springy colours. Gorgeous greens and pinks. I love this, like primrose, yellows. And I love purple so much. So yeah, they look really nice. It also tells you um, how many skeins you get on each one. 
But look at my nails done. You can tell now I'm no longer being a nurse. Aren't they cute? That's my holiday nails. Very, very excited. I'm loving them. Not too long because I've never had nails before because obviously it doesn't go with the job. But now I can have what I like and I'm loving them. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are the threads. And again, you get... Is there just one needle there? Normally we get two needles. Is there two? Oh, there are two needles in there. There we go. And two needles included. Oh, I keep knocking this. So yeah, that is a really super kit. It's really, really cute. I think that's lovely. Let's pack it away. Oh, my tummy's going to rumble. I need some lunch. Missed my lunch today, which isn't very good. Um, plus as well, these little um, packets are great. When you're working on your, your project, you can just start everything all in here together and then it keeps it all nice and clean. And I found as well these sides, the canvases are nice and stiff and actually you don't even need a hoop. A lot of the time on these smaller kits when you're working, um, you can just hold the canvas. I'd always say, wash your hands before you start working on it. That's what I would do anyway. Um, yeah, you so I wash my hands first before I start working so they're nice and clean and I'm not transferring any grease or dirt onto my project. And then, yeah, so that was a number two. The third one we've got, I think this is one my dad really likes, um, was this one. It's like a couple of bluebirds. Again, you've got your blossoms and a cage. Really cute. And it's called Bird's House 3. This is a bigger one again. So this is 27 by 36. But there is quite a lot of open space. It's not going to be like too heavily. Um, I don't think it'll take too long to do. But isn't that pretty? Um, let me give you some information on this one. So they've got it on the website. They've called it Bird Hemming, which I'm not quite sure how they've got to that. But anyway, it's called Bird Hemming on the website. Um, price wise, it's four euros. 49 which is three pound 99 which is five dollars and four cents really cute so let's have a look so you kind of know now what these kits are like instructions on the back cover sheet chart canvas threads and needle so you've got your cover sheet we've got this is a lot bigger this one so really big um chart really clear so it's got it broken down into one two three four so you know what each page corresponds to which is quite useful i mean it's so clearly printed uh, really large and then you've got your full stitch down there so you've got your your number which it corresponds to um on your thread holder you've got your symbol which corresponds to on the chart and you've got the dmc number so if you ever did run out of a thread or anything you could just order um some more of your thread using the dmc number provided and they sell it all over the place and it's a standard color across the world if the dmc so no matter where you are you can buy it you also need to know back stitch and french knot again um it is a printed canvas. So once you've completed this, if you really enjoyed the project and you wanted to do it again, you could just buy some plain Ada and use the chart and then sort of do it that way. But at this way, you've just got it already printed on and you just follow the key. Super simple. It um, feels quite a nice um, canvas, this, actually. This is, um, well, it's 14 count, but it feels really nice. So I think that'll look really pretty as well when it's done. My mum's going to be thrilled. Um, got the threads here. Beautiful. Already done for you. How easy. So we've got a couple here. And it's quite good. It gives you um, an, an idea as to what the colours are here. Again, how many um, skeins you've got of each colour. And then your symbol there for the chart. Um, two needles once again. So that's that. Pat this one away. And then I'll show you my final project, which I'm really looking forward to doing, actually. Um, let's put this away here. That's 
that put that in there i always like to just get everything packed away straight away keep it all organized and together then you know what you're doing nothing gets mixed up dead easy to get things jumbled when you've got lots of things coming into your collection so just try and stay organized so yeah that's that one and then my final um kit i've got something really different let me just find it on here where are we so yeah this looks really cool so it's just a partial little kit but look at this it's like special drills look at this it is a little bag how lovely is this it's like a, it's got kind of like, handles are really nice so it's a little bag here like a canvas type bag and lovely like cord ropey handles and then it's like a tree design on the front so it is a special really really lovely inside the bag we have got um your diamond painting kit and some baggies so yeah your toolkit you've got your tray your wax and your pen and then here are the drills um so lots of lots of sparkly crystals this will be really quick to do and it's a nice little bag and um, you could use this as one of like your little project bags you know to maybe keep your cross stitches in or if you're maybe knitting or crocheting you could um pop your things in there i think it's really cute i'm having for your lunch at work um so we have let's have a look at these so we've just got some clear crystals some red yellows oh really nice blue greens more of a lime green beautiful deep purple pink black oh look at these pretty ab's it's like an orange ab crystal it's got like lovely like pinks yellows bluey sort of shimmer and then we've got some ab crystals like little stars i used to have like buttons i think on my cardigans when i was a little girl that looked a bit like that but ab coating on those some little like teardrops clear little red ones these are total pains to pick up and work with yellows and um, some these like montes in crystal one in the crystal ab there's so many ab's on these i love it and then like a green with ab coating and then just some plain blue ones those will be like all the petals on here i just think this is going to be so cool when it's done and um, this might be one that i do a little um video with as well just to sort of do it be quite quick so i think what i'll probably end up doing is like on these types of videos i'll probably just start them off like we'll have a look at what's included and then um just start working on it then maybe do a bit of a time lapse video and then we can review it at the end i think that's how i'll start to do them like just like a complete video on each project that i want to kind of show you i think that'd be really good so yeah price of this is a little bit more pricey but you are getting a finished product that's a usable product it looks quite a deep bag actually it looks a good bag feels well made as well and um, the stitching looks really decent um it's been finished off quite nicely um so yeah this was 10 euros and 13 cents which is <laughs> oh excuse me i hate people it's terrible um eight pounds 99 which is 11 dollars 36 so a little bit more expensive but you have got something you can keep be really curious to see how i can maybe um seal that afterwards so that we don't lose any crystals but i think it's lovely oh heck sorry I'm sneezing still so yeah that is that so i'm going to pop this inside here just to keep it together and i'll pop it back oh sorry i'll pop it back inside its little bag after that so let me just recap everything we got in this um little haul from fg normal so we have got this gorgeous gorgeous um partial special little canvasy tote bag thing beautiful we've got the gorgeous like bluebird with the gold cage um cross stitch we've got the like, little blue tits and their nest and the little baby cross stitch so cute And then finally, we got Peter Rabbit's family. Again, another little cross stitch. 
So those are all of my kits I've got to share with you all today. I'd like to say thank you ever so much to FG Normal for sending them out to me. Very, very kind of them. I'd like to thank all of you for putting up with my waffle and coming back and supporting my channel. If you have enjoyed it, please do give me a thumbs up and feel free just to leave comments down below. Um, let me know which your favourite is. But also what would be really useful for me is let me know what sort of videos you'd like to see with these kits. If you'd like to see me doing anything with them or discussing them more or showing you how to cross stitch, showing you how to diamond painting, anything like that, do let me know what your preference for videos are and I will do my very best to try and deliver. So have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah! Bye for now.